Um, hello. Um, today I'm going to do a different type of video. Um, I've been asked uh, quite a few times if I could show you like a method for blending images. Um, it's not something I usually do, but because you asked, I'll sort of give you a quick guide on how to do it using um, Photomatics and Lightroom. Right then, I'm just going to find some images. Right, what I'm going to do... Okay, what I'm going to do is open a program, blending program called Photomatics. And we're going to, what that's going to do is load the bracketed photos and give you a nice balanced image of the five images I took of the waterfalls last week. So I'm going to open them in Photomatics, select them there, and then press OK. I'm going to load, uh, check the settings here, I've reduced the noise, reduced the chromatic aberrations, uh, white balance has shot and then align and merge to HDR. Now it's working and uh, blending them fine images to get you a nice balanced image. And it does a pretty good job of it. You can do other ways of photo blending using Lightroom, which, you know, if you want to do more detailed work. But I think this is a nice quick way uh, I can show you today if you ever, you're not sure how to bracket, this is a good way of doing it. So I'm just doing this quickly to give you a sort of insight into how it works. Now, as you can see, it's come up with a nice balanced image and it looks great as it is anyway. Um, looks lovely as it is. On the right, you'll see all the presets. The presets for the uh, images. I've got, this is default, uh, balanced, uh, photograph, natural, painterly, painterly two, uh, some of them are just a bit too heavy, which I don't like. I like images to look like um, when you take a photo and it looks between that and a painting. That's the sort of images I like. So with this, I'm just going to stick to the default. Um, if you want to adjust the strength, the HDR of the image, you can adjust it on the strength, the color saturation, the tone comes, compression and all that by using all the settings here. But I'm just going to go with that and I'm going to click on apply. So what's that? So now as you can see that's giving me a nice balanced um, image and I'm going with that. So I'm just going to click that and press done. And I'm going to save that image as a TIFF in just thinking of um, books of documents. Yeah, done. I'm going to save it as a TIFF there. Right then, that's it with Photomatics. Now we'll go into Lightroom. What we'll do there is import the image into Lightroom. Click on it and develop. <clears throat> so looking at that now, I think I could just adjust the warmth. I could just slightly warm it up to about a bit too much. About there. Um, just got to bring the highlights on the sky. Just the shadows, not too much. Um, whites to about there, bring out the blacks. Now I just want to bring down the sky I think, so I'm just going to get a graduate filter. So bring it down a bit. Not 
too much. Just the temperature of that. Okay, let's just go with that anyway. Um, so that's not nowhere near perfect, but that's the kind of thing. I don't like the blue in the sky. I'm going to take the saturation out that blue there. Um, just the exposure a bit. Um, just sharpen it about. I'll put a bit of sharpening in there. I usually sharpen it in Photoshop at the end when I'm done. Um, so that's basically how you do it with all the adjustments. Now, if I wanted to go black and white, I can use another program. I can go to Photo, Editing, Editing, Silver Effects Pro 2. So if I wanted it in black and white, I could use another program, which is Silver Effects 2, which is really good. And then I can get a black and white preset preset to go work with from there so I'll just open that for you so there you can black balance black and white uh, you can go through the presets here so we're just terrible um, and so on so there you can go you can go with something like that do this you can do a bit of adjusting here A contrast and say you wanted to go with that one save it what it'll do then it'll import it back into Lightroom for you and uh, if you want to finish it off you can do all the adjustments in there again so basically that's it that's how I uh, that's how you blend images uh, just a quick tutorial at how to do it quickly by using Photomatics, Lightroom and Silver Effects Pro too. So I hope that was a bit of useful information for you. So thanks for watching.